fine. So last class, we are discussing about IDE. I hope you remember, guys. So once again, I'm writing selenium. There are four components are there. What are the four components of selenium? Such as selenium IDE, selenium RC, and selenium RC. So there are, I mean, selenium four components are there. Selenium IDE, selenium RC, and selenium web driver and selenium grid and you know the most powerful component selenium web driver the most powerful component what selenium web driver once again selenium four components are there id rc web driver and as well as grid web driver and as well as grid so try to understand here ide purpose recording and playback ide purpose recording and playback rc purpose i mean ide purpose recording and playback rc uh, let me write single line here ide what recording and playback rc everyone <clears throat> rc purpose once again id recording and playback rc used to perform functional testings on functional testings and even web driver also same web driver also use it to perform functional testings yes it is also used to perform what functional testings and selenium grid use it to perform cross browser and as well as cross platform testing cross browser and as well as cross platform testing once again selenium there are four components are there ide rc web driver and as well as grid id used for recording and playback rc used to perform functional testings on web browser Web driver used to perform functional testings. Oh, functional testings. And web uh, Selenium grid used to perform cross browser and as well as cross platform testing. And you know very well, Selenium web driver is most powerful than RC. That's what RC merged with the web driver. There is no RC in the market. Separately, there is no RC in the market. RC merged with web driver. Now we we can discuss about Selenium ID. Already last class we discussed Selenium ID features. So and downloading installation also we discuss. Let me show that once again. ID uh, like features. First of all, ID stands for integrated development integrated development environment integrated development environment which is developed by shinya kastani from japan which is developed by shinya kastani from shinya kastani from japan Yes, and next one, third one, you know, uh, it is 
only smoke testing it is only what smoke testing smoke testing means nothing but what checking basic functionality so by learning ide you can't test enter the project we can test only we can test only basic functionality yes we can test only what basic functionality and next one everyone next one uh this is main feature recording and and playback recording and playback on web browser applications the mainly this is what recording and playback on web browser applications once again ide stands for integrated development environment which is developed by the senior castani it is only for smoke testing used for recording and playback used for what recording and playback on web browser application and you know it is not tool it is a extension yes extension or plugin it is called what extension or plugin into what are the browsers firefox it will be support chrome it will be support edge it will be support once again it is extension into a uh, plugin firefox chrome and as well as edge edge browsers and you know uh, during recording and playback every every action every action record as a html command i told you guys already every command record as a yes every action record as a html command later we can convert to other languages what are the languages we can convert such as such as convert to other languages such as java javascript python c sharp ruby something else we can converting into other languages i hope you understood guys up to here java javascript python c sharp like that we can converting into other languages we can converting into what other languages everyone wants read this for 2 minutes okay fine and this is ide features and we in, i mean discuss how to download and as well as install ide how to download install ide so guys uh, download install ide i'll show you already last class i showed that but almost two days of gap maybe you will forget that's what the fresh once again i'll repeat that same 
Yes, that's what I'll repeat the same. So download and install ID. So let me open browser. So you can open any browser. This time open Chrome because it support it support Chrome browsers. Okay. Here let's navigate to Selenium official website, Selenium dot dev. Selenium dot dev it is a selenium official website we can download anything from this page only here go to downloads are you able to see top go to downloads and it will be in the downloads page and if you scroll down left side you can find out heading as selenium ide under that selenium ide under that are you able to see guys bottom three links are there Chrome, Firefox, Edge, which one we are using, depending on that, we have to click. I'm using Chrome now, so I'll click there. It will be navigated to next, but already I installed, that's what. Wait, just remove from the Chrome, because already is there. Now, here, let's create, add to Chrome. Let's create what? Add to Chrome. Everyone, let's create, add to Chrome and add extension, add to Chrome and add extension. Click on what, add extension. So are you able to see my says ID has been ex uh, added to Chrome. So once again, I'll show you, once again, I'll show you here are able to see right side add to chrome click then add extension then right side you can find out the message as ide has been added to chrome there here are able to see extension option go there you can select see selenium ide you can ping then it will be visible go to the extension you can ping it will be visible here then uh, after the visible, double click on Selenium IDE, it will launch. Double click on Selenium IDE, it will launch. I hope you understood guys up to here. Now, ID has been opened with four options. Are you able to see guys? ID four options. What are the four options? First one, record a new test in a new project. Once again, first one, record a new test in a new project. And second one, open an existing project. Third one, create a new project. Once again, close Selenium ID. Once again, I'm closing ID and I'm launching again. Close. How to launch? Uh, like if you open any page, for example, I'm open the Chrome. If you're in any page, if you're in any page, if you're in any page, the right side, it will be visible here. Uh, are you able to see guys extension? Click. Selenium ID will be open. Here, four options are there. What is that? You know, if you want to create new test case into the project, already project is there. If you want to create the new test case, then we can use option as record a new test in a new project. Once again, if you want to create, everyone, if you want to create new test case into the project, then we can use first option as record a new test in a record a new test in a project. Second thing, already project is there. 
if you want to open, then we can use open and existing. First time launching IDE, first time launching IDE, are you able to see? Create new project. I don't have test case. I don't have project. I want to create the project. Then use third option as create a new project. Then use third option as a what? Create a new project. And even if you don't want to work with IDE to close, we can use fourth option as close Selenium IDE. Once again, everyone, uh, if, if already project is there to create first test case, then first option as a create uh, record a new test, new test in a new project. So like uh, already project is there existing project. If you want to launch, then we can use as open an existing project. So first time opening ID, first time opening ID, if you want to create the project and if you want to, yes, if you want to create the project and if you want to create the test case, then we can use create a new project. Next, close Selenium ID. If you want to close Selenium ID, then we can use option as a close Selenium ID. I hope you understood. Now tell me which option we have to use. Which option we have to use to create the project. We, first time we are launching now. Which option? Create a new project. Third option are you able to see? Create a new project. Okay. Let's select create a new project. Enter the project name. Let me take first of all in Google, I'm taking the project as example, Mercury Travels. Are you able to see? I'm taking the project as Mercury Travels. So now, which project you are taking? Everyone, uh, which project you are taking? We can write here. So I'm taking the project as Mercury Travels. Okay, so open ID here, open ID. Okay, so now I'm clicking on create new project, enter the project name, which project we taken? Mercury Travels, you know, like, uh, what are the project you taken? Same name, if you're working on Gmail, you can write on Gmail. If you're working on uh, any other one, you can, you can write that one, understand my point. So which one you're working, you can take this. Then click on OK. Click on OK. So project launch with the name of Mercury Travels. Are you able to see in the top end? Name of Mercury Travels. Okay, so if you want to edit here, we can edit the project name. Okay, now uh, under the project, we can create test cases and we can perform recording and playback. What are the test cases are there in the Mercury, you know? Uh, register one test case, register one test case, register one test case, login one test case, Left side are able to see holidays, flights, hotels, all are, all are test cases. First of all, I'll take one notepad for better understanding. I'm writing here. Uh, Mercury, Mercury Travels test cases. First of all, let me write TC1. Verify register. Verify login. TC3. Verify register. Verify login. And verify register. Verify login. And verify uh, 
uh, what is that as per the application holidays flights hotels holidays test case number four verify flights test case number five verify Models. Once again, verify register, verify login, verify holidays, verify flights, and verify hotels. And verify what? Hotels. Those are test cases. What we can write? Those are what? Test cases. Now, let's add test cases into the Selenium IDE project. So, I open Selenium IDE project. Here, uh, under project, are you able to see guys, a plus option? This is called add new test option. Click on that. Here, it will ask test case name one by one. We can add test case number one, verify, register. Click on add. Now add test case number two. Verify login. Click on add. Like that, all test cases we can add. Verify login. Add test case number three. Verify flights. And test case number four, verify portals add and verify holidays. Of course, jumbling uh, like that, but what it may be, I'm adding on verify. Holidays. Verify what? Holidays. So I added all test cases. So what is the project name? Mercury Travels. I added the test cases. Everyone, up to here, are you clear? Now, mainly the purpose of this recording and playback. Guys, here, up to here, are you clear? I want the response from you. You have the chart option, just your response. It's create more energy for me. Okay, so now uh, how to perform recording and playback? Everyone, recording and playback, I'll show you. Everyone, focus here. Next two minutes, what I'm doing, just focus. What I'm doing, just focus. So which project I want to record? Mercury Travels. I'll copy the project URL. First time, we have to enter the project URL. That's what I copied this. Then, everyone, I'll close my project. Backside Mercury Travels. So I'll close the Mercury Travels project. Now, only ID available, right? ID available. See guys, how to start recording and playback? First of all, select test case as register. Select test case as register. Right side, are you able to see record option here? Just we have to click on this. What happened? First time it will ask project URL. So. First of all, it will ask project URL. First time we have to enter the URL. Not every time. First time we have to enter the URL. Then you know what happened? If I click on start recording, then browser will be launch. Navigate to the page. Browser will launch. Navigate to the page. Now, 
browser will launch and navigate to the page. So click on start recording. You know, uh, click on start recording. Observe guys what happened. See, browser open. I'll maximize this. I mean, browser open. Oh, sorry. Browser open and maximize the page. Are you able to see? So during recording, whatever I perform, everything will be recorded. Yes, everything will be recorded. Now, try to understand. Everything will be recorded. You know, uh, now I'll perform. See guys, what I'm performing here. First of all, I'll go to customer login. I'll go to what? Customer login. Then under, I'll click on the register. Then I'll enter the first name as, just example, I'm enter the first name as uh, Ramakrishna. Last name as QA and email ID example email ID I am entering Ramakrishna dot Ramakrishna dot QA something number at the red gmail you know guys if you observe are you able to see bottom one message serenium id is recording message everyone observe bottom one message is there so uh, yes meaning id is recording yes under recording whatever the operations are performed everything will be recording in ide once again here right side bottom you can see one message serenium id is recording meaning ID is recording during recording. What are the operations you perform? Everything will be recorded. Yes. Operations will be performed and everything will be recorded. I hope you understood guys up to here. So now enter one password. This time entering a mobile number as a password. So same confirm the password here. Same confirm the password and mobile number. I'll enter my mobile number here. Click on register and click on register. See, guys, this is successful, right? Close this. Done. Then uh, select uh, open ID. Are you able to see everything is recorded? Are you able to see everything is recorded? Then right side, are you able to see stop button? Where, where I used, same option used to stop. Now recording is stop. See, here everything will be recorded. Are you able to see? Everything will be recorded. So whatever the, everyone, whatever the test case I recorded, everything. If you, have, if you scroll down, you can see my username. You can see my password. You can see my mobile number. Everything is recorded. Understand? Like that, any number of test cases we can record. Okay. Recording, understand. Just click on start recording and perform operations and finally stop recording. Then this one, how to play back? How to play back? Uh, are you able to see guys here? Second option as a run current test option. Are you able to see second option as a run, as a run current test option? It is used to playback. In our mobile, 
we have the option as uh, recording and as well as playback now. Same like that here, we have the option for recording and playback. I hope you understood up to here. So everything will be playback. So I'll click on this button. Click on this button. Run current test option. See guys, browser open. Guys, this is playback. Browser open. It will click on the customer login. And go for enter all those details. Click on register. Of course, register will get the fail because same name previously enter now. Am I right, my point? Now, stop. Go there. Are you able to see, guys? Green color meaning test case pass. Yes, green color meaning test case fail. Pass. In case if it is a fail, I can see red color. Now, I can see the message. I can see the last message. What is the message? Under the log section, you can see last message as verify register completed successfully. This is playback. How many times I can play back like that? Not only one. Any number of times we can play back. Any number of times we can play back. Understand my point? So right side, it is used to start recording. And the second option, it is used to stop recording. Everyone, it is used to start recording. And as well as it is used to stop recording. Start recording and as well as stop recording. Now, try to understand. Yes, now try to understand how to start recording and as well as how to stop. And one more example I'll show you. I'll select the login. I'll select the login. Click on start recording. Same option. So one more test case I'm showing now. Okay. Click on start recording. You know, automatically page open. Automatically page open. And now same. Everyone. Click on customer login and user login. I'll enter the email ID. So I'll enter the email ID. Ramakrishna. Dot QA. So uh, something. My email ID enter. And as well as now recording. Now recording mode. Now recording mode. And as well as password I entered. Password enter. Then after enter the password, click on the login. See guys, my login done. How to confirm? Are you able to see? Welcome Ramakrishna is there. Are you able to see? Welcome Ramakrishna is there. Here go to my bookings. I am checking my bookings. There is no bookings now. So I want to log out. I want to log out. Go to log out. Yes, go to log out. So then I want to stop. How to stop? Open Selenium IDE. Same button use it to stop. Open Selenium IDE. Same button use it to stop. Then how to recording and play? How to play back? Recording complete. How to play back? Select same test case. Are you able to see a second option as run? Current test, yes, everything recorded same. Same, everything recorded, click on run. Click on run after stop recording, then click on run. See guys. Now customer login, enter email ID, 
password, login, and checking my bookings. There is no bookings and log out. My test case pass. How to know pass or fail? First symbol green color. And the second thing, are you able to see under the log section where if you log in completely successfully? Are you able to see? Verify login completed successfully. Successfully login logout completed. Yes. So if it is a fail, we can see same as well as red color. Okay. I hope you understood recording and playback. What is the use? Regression testing. Everyone. Regression testing. Easy. So regression testing means what? Uh, not only defect one, right? Checking defect related all functionalities. Once again, checking defect related all functionalities nothing but call as regression testing once again regression testing means not only defect one checking all related functionalities nothing but call as regression testing always regression testing manually not possible definitely we have to use automation tool like a selenium we have to use automation tool like a selenium Understand my point? So to learn automation tool like Selenium, uh, I, I mean to perform a regression testing tool, we can use automation tool like a Selenium. Got it my point? And the mainly, the mainly, everyone, the mainly uh, recording and playback after that, we can show the options after that we can show the options and one more guys uh, i already explained that uh, like after recording and playback we can converting into other languages right default it will be converting into html yes default it will be converting into html yes default it will be converting into what html commands but we can converting into other languages. What are the languages? Java, Python, C Sharp. How to converting into other languages? For example, select the register test case and right click on test case. Are you able to see right click on test case and choose export? Right click on test case, choose export. And what are the languages you want to select? See. Uh, we can converting into C sharp, nothing but .NET, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby. So we can converting into different languages. Select, click on export. For example, I'm selecting the Python. Click on export. So which location you want, you can save. For example, I'm selecting the desktop. For example, I'm selecting the desktop. Click on save. So in future, uh, in future, test cases, if you want to run with other languages also like that, we can convert and we can execute. We can convert and we can execute. I hope you understood guys up to here. Yes, we can convert and we can execute. So once again, uh, everyone, uh, right click on test case. Once again, show that uh, right click on test case. Are you able to see export? Click on export option, select required language and we can save. Select required language and save. Understand? I export and save. So this is today I showed that very important one, how to perform recording and playback, how to converting into other languages, how to converting into other languages. I hope you are clear guys up to here. Remaining, we can continue tomorrow. Remaining, we can continue tomorrow. Got it my point? Yes, remaining, we can continue tomorrow.
any doubts, any questions, you can ask me. This is time to clarify your doubts. How to save, I'll show you in tomorrow class. How to save, I'll show you in tomorrow class. But every day after class, I'll, I'll wait for a few minutes to clarify your doubts. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Guys, recordings you can get. If you contact the management, One, wait, 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 one minute, one minute. Maybe if test case fail, it's showing the red color. If test case fail, it's showing the red color. And yes, you can get the notes, no worry. And I'm giving a unmute option also. If you have unmute, if you have any doubts, you can ping me. Sir, please show that uh, fail test cases in red color, sir. I want to know that. Yeah, that's what. Tomorrow I'll show that because then for that I have to prepare the wrong test case, na? Okay, sir. You can unmute and you can talk. Fine. If any, there is any doubts, we can we can continue tomorrow. But practice, practice is very very important, and tomorrow is last demo session. Fourth day, fifth day onwards, who paid, who registered, those students only can join every day. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a nice day to all. See you tomorrow. Same time, same link. Don't miss the class. Bye-bye.